Hi there, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. Today we have a very special video for you. In this video, we are going to discuss Microsoft Power BI projects. You can showcase these projects in your CV or in your resume. And you can definitely demonstrate your skills to your interviewer or to your recruiter. Not only that, we have a very special challenge for you as well. In this video, you will find a registration link in the description section where you can go and register yourself and you will also find another link for the data set. On the basis of that data set, you have to design one Microsoft Power BI report and send us your entries till 15th of December 2022. On 1st of January, we are going to publish one video where we are going to showcase some of those projects and top three entries are going to get certain prizes. What those prizes are going to be, you will get to know in this video. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. Let's see what are those projects. But before going there, I would like to take a minute and I would like to tell you about this challenge. In this challenge, you have to design one Microsoft Power BI report and I'm going to provide you data set link in the description section. The winners of this challenge are going to get these prizes and I'm sure these books are going to help you a lot in your career. Now let's move forward. The very first question comes, what is Power BI? If you are already working on Power BI, I'm sure you know the answer. And if you haven't checked out our previous videos, please go there and check out for the detailed explanation. In short, Microsoft Power BI is a business intelligence and data visualization tool designed to analyze, visualize, and process enormous volume of raw business data and transform them into actionable and interactive insights that help business managers, corporate executives, and other users to make better informed decisions. In simple terms, Microsoft Power BI is a BI solution by Microsoft that provides a simple yet powerful interface that even non-technical users can use it to create dashboards and analysis reports. The question comes, why Microsoft Power BI? Well, there are lots of reasons that you can go with that, but in short, it is the market leader. It provides you a huge list of features that you can utilize and you can take your business to new heights. Some of them you can read on your screen. Now let's discuss Microsoft Power BI projects for beginners. Over here, the very first project that we are going to talk about is product sales data analysis. Businesses should keep detailed records for their sales because these records can provide valuable insights into how well their business is performing, which items are proving successful, and what changes can be made. Using sales data analysis project, companies are able to keep track of their sales and get answers to all of their questions about how they performed. As part of this project, you will be visualizing Microsoft sample dataset to show a profit by products and sales, as well as other key factors that may affect a company's performance. Before going further, I would like to tell you one thing. I have already created a video for the free data sources for Microsoft Power BI. That means you can download all the free data sets from those particular links that I have provided in that video and you can utilize them to create all these projects that we are going to discuss in this video. However, in case you need any specific data sets, please don't hesitate to comment in the comment section and we are going to provide you. Now let's see the sample product sales data analysis dashboard. So this is one of them. Now you can have a look, you can pause your screen and maybe you can start designing similar to that. Now second comes marketing campaign insight analysis. An effective marketing campaign is a great way to reach consumers, clients and leads. An analysis of your campaign data can provide you with valuable insights into your target audience, marketing channels and budget. Then on the basis of that, you can figure out or how not to run your next campaign. This is where Power BI came into play. By this project, you can show off the efficiency of various market campaigns and the features performance analysis of products and platforms can be done. You can use this project to assess the success of marketing campaign and various activities carried out under his management. Next, we are going to discuss about financial performance analysis. Microsoft Power BI is used for financial analysis to gather and analyze KPIs or key performance indicator charts and financial statements. The purpose of this BI project is to optimize financial reporting in a form that provides accounting services to clients seeking timely delivery of critical financial reports. Through this analysis, you will be able to access reliable financial reports quickly and efficiently. 
multi-company financial data set may be utilized for this project. Now let's see last one for the beginners. Customer churn analysis. A major challenge that modern enterprises face is customer migration or churn. Churn or customer attrition is the act of customers stopping purchasing from a business or interacting with it. What can we do to overcome this challenge? The idea is to know the reasons why customers churn, the factors that impact that, so that appropriate measures can be taken to retain them. And then you can use Microsoft Power BI to analyze this kind of data. So over here, the very first comes global health expenditure analysis. A global health expenditure analysis provides comparative data on health expenditure for 192 countries over the last two decades. It can be more than that. In these projects, PyCaret, machine learning library in Python, is used for implementing clustering analysis in Microsoft Power BI. Clustering involves gathering data items having similar features. These classifications aid in examining data sets, detecting patterns, and analyzing data, while data clustering assists in identifying underlying data structures. So, whenever you are going to use global health expenditure data set, you can generate all the possible insights and you can also use different Python libraries for that. Next comes the energy trade analysis. In this project, various aspects of global energy production and exchange are covered. You can generate all the possible insights from that. Several topics are analyzed in this project that can include the expansion of wide energy to use of energy consumption, to compare national economies, and many more. You can see where most of your energy consumption is happening, where the less is happening, how you can balance all the different sites over there. You can use International Energy Statistics dataset for this kind of project. Next comes the anomaly detection in credit card transactions. We already know that there are so many frauds are happening throughout the world. And how to stop them? What are the main reasons that these kind of frauds are happening? How to generate the insights? For that case, you can use Microsoft Power BI to analyze that kind of data set. If you are working on this project, you can either use the credit card fraud detection data set or the credit card data set. Now let's talk some of the projects that advanced Power BI users can utilize into their CV and they can demonstrate their advanced skills on that. For advanced users, the very first that I can think of can be the COVID insight analysis. COVID-19 wrecked havoc on the entire human civilization, which we all know. Due to the sudden outbreak across all the countries, global leaders were forced to take drastic measures to prevent the disease from spreading. This is where your role comes as a Power BI advanced user to gather all that data and generate insights out of that. This COVID insight analysis project seeks to provide a comprehensive overview of the pandemic's essential parameters and a detailed account of the situation at the national level. So this can be similar to this one where you can get all the different kinds of information and insights regarding to the COVID that can be for one particular country or that can be throughout the world. Now let's discuss the next one and that would be very important. So that one would be airport performance analysis. Globally, the aviation industry saw massive growth in passenger numbers. Right now, there are 5,000 aircraft taking passengers and cargo around the world. However, maintaining these flights requires a lot of planning and quick decision making. And how to do that? This can again be a very challenging. In this airport authority data analysis project, airport data will be analyzed to provide a clear picture. In this project, on the summary page of Power BI dashboard, you can see the number of flights incoming and outgoing, the number of delays, that means your arrival and departures, feedback from passengers, and ground processing times. So, generate this kind of dashboard to demonstrate your skills where you can use different cards, bar charts, tornado charts, tree maps, flow maps, etc. for flight analysis. And if you would like to gather passenger feedback, then you can use column charts, cards, bar charts, etc. Now, the final project would be the challenge for this video. That means you have to design a report or a dashboard out of the data set that I have provided for you. And that would be life expectancy data analysis. A key metric for measuring population health is life expectancy. 
It is beneficial to analyze life expectancy data when considering the health of a population, its characteristics, and when studying human diseases and natural population fluctuations. So, you have to use Microsoft Power BI and you have to design one report or a dashboard where we can analyze everything related to life expectancy data analysis. And here is the sample dashboard for you. You can utilize it as a benchmark and on the top of that, you can generate your own insights and you can share with us. We are looking forward to get you all the entries. In case you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. See you in the next video.